Hey guys, good to have you back again. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. If you're new here, hi, my name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands and I do all sorts of paper crafting related stuff and especially junk journaling because I love that. So let me tell you what I want to do today. During the 100 day challenge, I have made this beautiful a journal cover with a dangle on it, a big dangle on it. And uh, this is going to be a botanical journal. Um, we are, I've made all sorts of ephemera to go with it, but we need some papers. So what I want to do today is make some signatures. Uh, for this project, I have picked a lot of books that I want to use. So I want to share that with you and some beautiful vintage papers and some digitals. Let's just put some beautiful papers together and see what we can create. Let's go through some papers that I have printed and that I picked out from my enormous stash of <laughs> papers that I that I have. This is uh, stationery. Isn't that really, really cute? Yeah, it does have a hedgehog on it. That is not really botanical, but you know, I decided to do it anyway. And this is some sort of handmade paper. This was in an album. I don't know, I just love it. Look at the structure on this. It is really, it's like straw paper, some sort of. Again, this is stationary. I really love like the watercolor flowers. This was like from a, some sort of a Asian theme uh, poster set, but I do love it. Look at these colors. This is from um, a paper pack that I've bought a couple of years ago. I believe it was from Action or something, but I think it will work just fine. My beautiful vintage um, wallpapers. These uh, will be the signatures for the, uh, the covers for the signatures, I have decided. It is so beautiful. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Again, from the paper pack, they're nicely double printed. And these are some um, digital set of printed out. Some of them are mine, some of them are from other people. This is actually by the Vidika Designs. Isn't that absolutely wonderful? She doesn't sell them yet. I told her you need to sell them because they're absolutely beautiful. I have printed them smaller on a smaller uh, setting um, to fit in the journal better. And this is one of mine. This is one of my own. And this is one of mine that I've made. And again, some sort of a collage from floral wallpapers. I thought that would be nice. This is from the Digital Collage Club. Yeah, I printed it on both sides. Some coffee dyed paper because, you know, you need to have coffee dyed paper. Uh, and I also have some coffee dyed paper with lines. Uh, what I do, I dry, I, um, I bake my coffee dyed paper. I dry them in my oven and I use like this rack that you have in your oven. Everybody has it, probably. Uh, and then it gives these beautiful lines. I really love this. And these are just some images that I found uh, and printed double-sided. So I'm also going to use those. Aren't these lovely? I just love them. So these are the normal papers. Let's show you what sort of books I want to use. These are my vintage books from my favorite publisher, Moussalt. I love, look at the images. Uh, these are gorgeous. Yeah, I want to use some of this and some of this and some of this. Yeah, uh, so these are old, old books, like some vintage books. And this is rather new. Um, but look at the images. I just love them. And I also think the page size will be wonderful. And this is a very old book. This has some beautiful... Look at the discoloration on the book itself. Yeah. These have some old pages with botanical drawings on them. Isn't that absolutely wonderful? Yeah, so I want to have some pages out of this book. A, a very well-known book. Uh, I'm sorry for the glare. Let's hold it like so. Yeah, this is Edith Holden. This is a paperback. Um, this is the first one that I totally ripped apart. Uh, I have another one that is a hardcover. Uh, and I believe the pages then will be bigger. The problem with the paperback is when you remove the pages, they are not joined together anymore. So I want to join these together with some um, washi tape, I was thinking. Yeah. I just love Edith Holden and so does everybody else. 
big book. I do believe you can get this book um, everywhere around the world because it's Reader's Digest. It's just, you know, this is the D Dutch version. It is, I believe, from the 70s or something. I don't even know. Let's quickly see. Does it have a date? Well, it says like MSMXXXI. I can... Yeah, it's old. Let's just keep it at old. But I do love the pages. I already took one out. Maybe we can make a flippy, flippy thing. A flippy, floppy, flippy thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to use this book. Then this is a very famous, uh, again, I'm sorry for the lighting, uh, Dutch illustrator called Marjolein Bostin. She that makes, well, she is like the Dutch uh, Edith Holden. Look, yeah. She does all of this in watercolor. So I want to use some of this. And this is a very old book from 1912. Yeah. I already used one page in another project in the 100 day um, challenge. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love it. It's, it's a little bit similar to this one. See? Only, only this is um, Dutch and this is French. So very fancy friends. Yeah. And then this one is also a Dutch book. The book itself is not sort of okay. It has some large um, illustrations, well, uh, photographs in it. That would make for some lovely envelopes and such. But the best thing about the book are these vellum pages. Look. Yeah. Aren't they great? Yeah. So I'm going to use some vellum in there as well. And then this book. Uh, this is very hard to find in the Netherlands. And if you can find it, it is very expensive. I found this book because I do believe uh, Joey DeVee recommended this one to me um, months ago. And it is the most beautiful book ever for botanical, you know. Oh, it is so, so gorgeous. Uh, an expensive book, but well worth it because, mm, yeah. Yes, fuzzy cutting or in this case, making some beautiful signatures. Well, let's start the assembly then. Let me show you how I get the pages out of these books without ripping them and tearing them. I have this very small pair of scissors. Yeah, like tweezers, but then scissors. And I'm just going to find the middle of a signature. A signature is where the books are bound together. And sometimes you can even see them where they are. I'm just going to open it up sort of in the middle and then find where the middle is. And there you go. And then you will see where it's sewn in. See? There it is sewn in. That's why I use some tiny, tiny scissors. If you don't have these scissors, you probably don't because I've never seen these after I've bought them. Um, just snip the thread that is sewn with there you go and then carefully uh you take the pages out like so and then you can just put them in a signature see perfect way don't rip them tear them it'll be fine most of the time it's uh like three or four pages come out and then there the others are stuck to the next signature so Usually I keep them in there. So I want to use some of these again. Um, also using this book. This is a little bit more glossy, but that's okay. Because it's a junk journal. Is this the middle? Yes. This is a newer book and newer books are bound better. <laughs> yeah. So they are tighter and some of them are glued. I prefer the ones that are bound um, this way. There you go. Yep. What are these called? Pensies? Pensies, right? I don't know. Oh, this is not loose yet. I'm missing one. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that is beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Ooh. I love it. Yeah. Let's have two of these. And, um, oh, let's do, um, oh, I'm sorry. That, that's my computer. It's not happy. My computer wasn't happy. I put something on the keyboard. Let's have some over here. Do we have a middle? 
find the middle section somewhere. I'm just eyeballing it on the side. It's very well hidden, this, this one. Hello, middle. Come out, come out wherever you are. It's probably here. See these old books? It is in here. You really have to go look for it and then dig them out. <laughs> Two. It probably has three. Yeah. And then number three. Hopefully, I snipped all the threads. I didn't. I didn't. So I'm going to sacrifice this first, first page. Yeah. And then the threads are visible. Yeah. I'm still going to use it. Just not in a signature. I'm not going to use a lot of these pages. Just, you know. One of them in each signature. Also, I don't know. Two signatures, three. I have not decided it yet. Yeah. Some of those. And um, the other ones. Yeah, I'm going to use the, some of the vellum ones. They are way too big. But we have a solution for that. First, I needed to measure my journal. And, and how um, big I want the signatures to be. I measured, look at, I bought this, yes, uh, Julie made me buy it, she has one of these, that is very, very handy, so this is eight and a half by um, almost six, but I want the signatures to be smaller, so I'm going to do eight by five and a half, the biggest, but if the pages are smaller, I'm also really happy with that, it's going to be a hidden spine, I want this to be um, plain, because it already has so many beautiful things on it, so it's going to be a hidden spine, spine and I'm going to use this piece of fabric to make something with. Yeah, so it's going to be lovely. This, These two are going to be um, covers of two signatures, but let's to quickly see how big they are. They are, well, eight and a half, which is a little bit too much, so I need to cut them down to eight. And then two times five and a half is 11 inches. And also, I need to cut a little bit here. So, I'm quickly going to do this with both of the pages. And then the first, like the cover of the signature, will um, tell me how big the other pages can be. They're cut to size. So now when I fold these in, like so, just make sure the corners and the ends meet. Yep. This is going to be the size of our signature. Yeah, um, the papers inside can be a little bit smaller, but not bigger. I have made a decision, do not make them bigger than this size. Yeah. So what I, what I want to do is make two signatures first and then see if we want to have another one. Let's take out all the papers that um, I have collected. Oops, there you go. So, so many. Yeah. And I'm stalling with, uh, I'm starting with the smaller ones. I do believe they, those will fit. And let's have a look. See, it's smaller, but that's okay. That is not a problem at all. And also the holes, I really like. I'm keeping the holes. There you go. I think the coffee die will be a little bit too big. Yeah, this is probably bigger than 11 inches. Yeah, a little bit, not a lot. But I do not want to lose anything. So what I want to do is fold this in like so, leaving a little bit left on that edge over there. And then folding this over for now just to see how far I can fold it in and then have this on the inside is it too tall it is a bit 
So we need to cut this down. I am going to do that later. Let's do another one of these. Ooh, I love this bit. I'm just going to keep that bit. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a shame you cannot smell this. It smells so nice. I love the smell of coffee. Cannot stand it. If I want to drink something, I'd rather have tea. Two. Then I have this stationery. That's probably small enough. Is it? Yes, of course. Let me make a little bit more room. Why don't you? Yeah. And these are the big double pages from the Reader's Digest book. Yeah, I could like cut them in half or I could do this. I'm not going to fold them all the way to the edge. This is going to be my flippy floppy. Have you seen uh, Julie's uh, blooper video? It's, it's hilarious. I've shown it to everyone. It's a flippy, flappy, floppy. It's for a junk journal. <laughs> it is a little bit too tall, so we also need to trim that one. Let's make two of these because I have at least two signatures. So, yeah. So, guys, this is not a very crafty, crafty video. I know. But, you know, if you've been invested in the in the botanical journal during the 100 day project, you, I think you really want to see what sort of papers I have chosen to be in the signature. And maybe you've never made a signature before. You know, that could be a possibility. Uh, these are, I believe, yeah, small enough, big enough. Yes. So one of each and then these ones. What will we do with these ones? I'm thinking again, doing a flippy floppy thing. Yeah. I could have made some sort of pocket. I think I want to have this one as a pocket. Will that fit? Oh yes, that will fit. So I'm going to glue this, these two parts down. So this side will be a pocket and this side will be a flip out. Yeah, because I really do not want to lose uh, this part of the illustration. So flip out and a pocket. Let's make another one. Pocket over here. And a flippy. And a flippy floppy. There you go. Now for the Edith Holden pages. Yes, these are the edges that uh, were in the book. Yeah, so they were bound like so. Well, glued like so. But I really like these edges. So I was thinking maybe I just want to put the tape um, there in the middle. Yeah, why not? I have chosen um, these two pages because it says uh, June. Well, Uni, but that's Dutch for June. So this is a Dutch Edith Holden book. Um, well, it's June, but if you look outside of my window, it's more like October because the weather is horrible. I am going to line up the pages. I'm going to use this as sort of a guideline. Line this up here and this one as straight as possible to each other. Do not overlap them. Just... Have them touch. Like kissy kissy. Okay. And then my washi tape. Yes. I'm sorry. This is going to be longer than the pages. But that is quite alright. Sort of gauging where the middle is. This is the line that goes here. Yeah. Where the middle is. So you have an equal amount of washi tape on both sides. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, sort of. Doesn't really matter if it's a little bit shorter on one side. Yep. And then I is going to lift the whole page up. Yes. Folding this over. You could decide now to take another washi tape, another print. But I'm just going to use the same. I am going to uh, turn it around, guys. Because this for me is um, a better angle. There you go. 
taking a piece that will fit within these two um, edges, yeah? Yep. And I'm lining it up as straight as possible. And there you go. It's a little bit left here, but that's okay. Just flip it over. Be sure everything is really, really glued down. And then you can fold it in like so. And it even looks cute. Ta-da! See? Yeah. Probably should have a bone folder or something to flatten it. But it'll be fine. Yeah. So that's what I do when I have like loose um, pages to make them into one page. These are all the pages for one signature. I have decided on two signatures, but the signatures are going to be fat. <laughs> They're going to have a lot of pages in them, but that's okay. Also, why did I decide on two signatures? Let me tell you, if you have followed my um, 100 day project, you have seen me make ephemera for the botanical journal. And then also these uh, two cuties. These are like accordion uh, ephemera holders. And what I wanted to do is have these in the back, but they will create a little bit of a bulk. Um, and also some beautiful things on the, in the front. I don't know which one I want to put on here, but I want to have a, some sort of a construction here as well. So I want to make two signatures that are a little bit more towards the middle than towards the end. So just two. But first, let me show you how I will assemble them. Um, this is my way. I Most of the time I just to choose the cover, which is the beautiful wallpaper. And then I want to to choose my centerpiece and I'm, go I'm definitely going to use like the Victorian flower album. Isn't that beautiful? So this is my first page and this is my last page. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna, you know, basically fill it up with stuff. Um, also what I like is to alternate between some sort of blank page and some sort of, uh, well, decorated page. Like this is blank. Uh, I'm probably going to have pockets on here and such. And then I thought about, like, let's do an Edith Holden. So this is going to be my second page. Let's quickly have a look if this is not too big. It is the tiniest bit. It is the tiniest bit. Maybe I will trim it. Maybe I won't. Because um, the journal is going to be a little bit wider than this one is. But maybe I'll trim it. So this is going to be my second page. Yeah. Um, let me show you. I also have the, the vellum uh, page. I just cut it in half and then made this. Yeah, so I'm going to have this in here. I will have this in the middle. So I'm not going to put it on top or there, just in the middle. And that way it will have the threads of the signature making it secure. Let's see, some sort of old book pagey thingy. Let's do this one with some pockets. I'm going to make a pocket here and a flippy here. So, sort of the same height. Let's have this one here. And then um, a decorated one that says botany. Very, very pretty. So, I'm going to have this over here. This is sort of blank. So, let's have more flowers. More flowers. Yes, more flowers. I'm going to have this one over here. Then some more writable pages, like, are we going to have them on the bottom or the top? Let's do them, do them on the top, yeah. The straw papery kind, yeah. Um, oh, some more flowers. Yeah, adding some more of this. Then, let's see, let's do some of the digitals. I have this one. Yeah. Let's put this one in here. A coffee dye paper to write on. Yeah. I'm going to have the flip out on that side. So coffee dye, this is a little bit too tall, so I have to trim it. Remember to trim it. Then um, let's have, that's another flippy. Let's do this one. Yeah, really cute. Some uh, stationery, that'd be nice. 
Let's have this with the flippy flappy floppies. Another one of my digitals again. Yeah, cute. Then the antique book page. This was going to be in the middle. Let's find a spot for this one. What do you guys think? Oh, probably here. Yeah, gonna have it here. Yeah, yes. So yeah, this is what it is going to look like. Let's see which pages fit and which don't. This one, this is the coffee dye. I'm going to trim it. Yeah, I'm going to trim it on the top. And the Edith Holden is sticking out a tiny bit. I think I'll leave it like that. So I am going to cut this off and make the other signature in the same order. Here they are. Nice and chunky. Yes. They're already very chunky. But that's okay. There is room in here. So these are the signatures. Uh, what I wanted to do was a hidden spine in this one. So uh, I'm not going to... Uh, sew it in directly. I am going to sew it in on a piece of cardstock that I've cut uh, Which is a tiny the tiniest bit smaller than the spine and also shorter Yeah, and I want to cover this one with Beautiful fabric Like so and then this piece will be glued into the journal but first we need to attach these signatures on it so what i'm gonna do i am going to glue this piece of cloth on here yeah okie dokie let's have something underneath yeah there you go what are we going to use i think uh art glitter glue if it's not too hot well it's definitely not not too hot because it is like uh, autumn in here. Last time I used art, it was like crying. Everything came out. But it's okay now. It's okay because it is not that um, warm anymore. You should put glue on this piece of paper and not the piece of paper underneath, lovely. Yeah, I know, I know. You cannot see it because it's white glue on a white background. This is just uh, the back. Uh, the backing of a uh, paper pad, scrapbook pad, yeah. Make sure this is in the middle. I'm going to flip it around. I already did some measuring on this, guys. Um, but I'm probably going to alter it again. There you go. There you go. Leaving a tiny bit. On the top and on the bottom and equal sides. So, yes. Well, we should let this dry, but we don't have time to let it dry. <laughs> no. So, what I want to do is, um, if you're really, if I was really smart, which I am not, um, I would make a template. But I don't want to. I thought that I would want the signatures to be not completely in the middle. One of them all the way to this side and one of them a little bit farther than the middle. So there will be more room on this side than on this side. Why? Because I really want to glue these in and I need more space for this because these are going to be bulky. Yeah. So I did some measuring. And hopefully I did it the right setup. Yeah, I have drawn two lines. I have this line, which is like a half, a, a half an inch. Well, no, a quarter of an inch uh, from this edge. And this is a little bit wider. So I'm going to uh, sew on one signature on this line and one on this line. There's uh, more room left on this piece. Yes, I know that I, I did that on purpose. So uh, hopefully I am making myself clear. Because these are very chunky signatures, I am going to use my um, wax thread floss, yeah, and uh, my heavy duty stuff. So not embroidery floss or anything. So waxed thread, I'm going to have a two and a half size. That's one, that's two and a half. 
what's going on, Daisy? Daisy is my cat and she wants some attention. So there's one. And I'm going to do the other one as well because we need to sew in two signatures. Stay, lovely, stay. One, two, and a half. So we have these two. Guys, I'm so sorry. I was so concentrated. I thought I pressed uh, record, but I didn't. So yeah, uh, I already attached them to some sort of the the hidden spine. Uh, if you want to see a tutorial on how I do this, there is in my 100 day project, it is the Easter Spring Junk Journal, and then it is in part two. That's where I explain how this works. So I am so very sorry. Be sure when you put it in that every page is the right side up. Yeah, that's the most important thing. So yeah, it is done. <laughs> now we need to glue it in. Taking my pretty cover. Yeah, and then I'm gluing. On the cardstock, of course, on this on this bit all the way. Yep. That's the most important thing. And this needs to be exactly in the middle. Also, before you glue it down, be sure the right side is up. So don't glue it upside down. Let's quickly check. Yeah, this way. This way. <laughs> oh, that will be a disaster. Not really, I just have to take the dangle off then switch it around. Okay, uh, I'm sorry you cannot really see this bit, uh, but I really need to measure the middle. Let's see where the middle is. Yep. Pulling it open in between the signatures. Hello, signatures, where are you? Just to press it down. Pressing it down in the middle and then on this side where I left, left a little bit more room than on the other side because I'm going to attach these here. So I need a little bit more room here. Also gonna glue this down in a second, in a second. And then also on the other side. And hopefully this is all straight. Let's see. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yes. Yes, it is straight. But it needs more glue. And it needs to dry. We can do that. No worries. No worries. So I'm gluing this down, guys. I'm letting it dry. So I'll be right back. It is dry and it is very, very full already. And I also want to add a lot more. So uh, hopefully it will not be like a big gator mouth. But let's just check it out. Um, yep, see, it's in. And then the beautiful fabric is on here. And these are the signatures. Like the beautiful Edith Holden. And the nice vellum piece. Book pages. I'm going to glue this down to make pockets. I want to add lots more pockets and flippy flappy floppies. You know me. Yeah, I just love the papers. I really, really like them. And they're all different uh, sort of um, structures to them. Some are copy paper. Some are more like cardstock. Old book pages. Yeah, very diverse. See? And then this is the middle of the signature. On the other side. With flippies. Yes, we are going to have a lot of fun here in here. Um, guys, the I do want to do some journal with me videos, but I am not really a journal kind of girl. Uh, I don't like... Dear diary, <laughs> I don't, I don't do that. So most of the time, what I do is put some like poetry in there, or uh, quotes, or very um, 
beautiful musical lyrics. I love musical lyrics. That's like my thing because they express a lot of feelings. So I'm probably going to do that. But uh, it, this is going to be a series about filling, filling it up. And it's going to be awesome. Yes, I love it. I love all the different pages. Yeah, it's so, so cool. So cool. Right, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you back again tomorrow with another one. See you then. Bye.